Guys, before this video begins, I am running a double giveaway on Xbox One and PS4. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and comment done with your gamer tag or PSN on that giveaway video. It will be, it's on my channel. It says a huge giveaway in the thumbnail, guys. Now to your video. Hey guys, that monkey, we're back here for the video, guys. Today we'll be doing a one room challenge on the map King of the Toe in so should be a pretty good time guys if you enjoy this video make sure you slap that like button and you subscribe to the channel if you are indeed new guys this should be again a pretty good time so alright let's see what we got here so going through okay we got right here and over here again with the one room challenges the biggest issue usually is it just becomes overcrowded too easily and then you know we just die because of that so Obviously, the idea of this starting room I love because of the fact that it's so, like, you know, much area to run around in. So, you know, the chances of going down are less because of the fact you can actually move from the zombies and not be confined and stuck in one location. So, where's the last zombie at? Here we go. We go over here, and we got you. Whoa. Okay, okay, bro. There we go. Alright, so, what we got here? So, of course... Of course, we do have um, guns here. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to record this video while having my dog on my lap because it's storming outside, and the storm is um, what's it called like making him go crazy right now. So I have to hold him to keep him calm. But um, obviously, you know, that's going to be a challenge. So I guess in a way, it's a keep a dog uh, calm challenge with Z Black Ops Zombies. How easy can that be? <laughs> Not easy at all, obviously. Alright. Come on. Alright. Now, I think my one room challenge-wise, the my uh, record for longest I've lasted so far, on video at least, has been six rounds. Now, I lasted longer than that off video, but for actual recording-wise, it's, uh, what's called, six rounds. So... Obviously, I would love to beat that right now being at three rounds now I did do a one room challenge in all nine or all eight remastered maps and Did a pretty good job in my opinion. Um Well, obviously the one I lasted the longest on was actually the one I, I least expected to so kind of surprising on that field that you know The one that I thought oh, I'm gonna last like no rounds on I end up lasting the longest which You know, that's just how it goes. Okay. Yeah I'm about to say, man, <laughs> like, how many bullets can I miss before I shoot him in the head? Alright, we got a, we got a death machine. So, again, sorry if you hear the storm outside, because of the fact that outside is pretty bad right now. No idea why, but sometimes, like, storms just randomly pop up out of nowhere, and they drive my dog crazy. My dog just goes, like, bananas. Comment down below, guys, if you have a dog, and... You know, storms make him go bananas because whenever a storm pops up, I mean, it's like, you know, it could be the littlest storm with like, you know, barely any rain. My dog's like, you know, he becomes Cujo in the, you know, like going crazy wise because of the fact that the storm is outside. He's like, oh my God, it's storming outside. I can't stand this. I cannot take this. So, you know, he, he just doesn't, he's not, he's not loving life when it's storming outside. Let's just, uh, to say the least, he's not loving life. Okay, so, again, we do not have Jug, which does really suck. But we can at least do some kind of shot of, like, you know, going around in circles. Because, but, you know, because of the stairs, but it's just not going to be as good because Jug is not, right now, an option for us. Which, if you guys have not seen my previous videos... Jug is is um what I consider the life force of this game. Like, if you don't have Jug, you're in a sticky situation, and you do not want to be in that situation without Jug. Like, Jug is honestly one of the most important things, if not the most important thing. Uh, right beside Quick Revive, because as you guys are going to see this gameplay, uh, Quick Revive is gonna save our butt more often than not. So, you know. Obviously, we're probably going to go down a couple times. Um, you know, I think Quick Revive could do three revives on solo. 
on multiplayer, of course, this makes you, you know, get people up faster. But on solo, it gives you three uh, actual lives, I guess you could say. So, before it does end up disappearing. So, I'm hoping that we don't have to take advantage of that too much. And we just are a boss and we just, you know, survive a long time anyway. But, you know, obviously with being a one room challenge, it doesn't usually go my way when it comes to, um, you know, uh, bo bossing around here, guys. It doesn't go my way when it, when it comes to being a boss. Because of the fact that this confined area definitely does not help the fact that, you know, we don't have that good of guns either. And running out of ammo like that is going to be a thing that happens more often than not also. So we're going to have to buy some ammo as we're running from zombies, as we're having confined space. And as you guys can see, two hits is a down. So, you know, we just get hit two times because we had to stop for one second to kill a zombie. And that is down already. So, that's how easy it is to go down right now. Okay. Um. Oh, crawler. Okay. So, round six, guys. This, again, was my previous record. How long as I've lasted in Kingdom Turn in round one. When it comes to a video, now I've only tried this once, so technically speaking, it's not really much sample size to go off of. But I believe overall I've lasted about 10 or 11 rounds in the um, starting area. So, okay, so we have dogs right now. Okay, let's, let's not be stupid here. I've gone down on video to dogs one time because of the fact I was reloading like an idiot. Uh, when they were running at me, which you don't want to reload when they're running at you. Reload before they run at you. Or just, you gotta, you gotta pull out your gun and just start, you know, open firing. So, that's pretty much it. So, this looks like round 7 will be here. So, round 7 now, guys. If, if, okay, there we go. So, round 7, guys. So, we are officially now in a good situation because we did actually beat our technical record that we had before. Now again, I only tried it one time, so technically speaking, you know, to say it's like a record on how long it lasted, it's kind of, you know, not the, you know, most accurate results because of the fact that it only it was only um one attempt. But with that in mind, insta kill is gonna help us out plenty here with being able to kill zombies. Okay. Let's do that. Come on, let's take advantage of this. Where's zombies at? Okay. Max ammo. And that's all she wrote when it came to insta kill. Alright, let's go up here. Um, there shouldn't be too many zombies left because we should have killed a, a lot of them in that insta kill pot. Um, but we will see. We will see indeed. Okay, got red screen right there. Which again, guys, don't keep in mind, it's not only a zombie challenge. This is uh, take care of your dog because there's a storm outside while you kill zombies in a starting room that's not that big. So it's an extra challenge, guys. It's a challenge above itself. Uh, I'm trying to go for headshots because that's pretty much the best way. Okay, let me wait a little bit uh, to get this nuke because we can. Oh, okay. Don't don't put myself down here. There we go. Almost okay. So we can last a little bit longer before we have to hit that nuke. Ah, right, there we go. So this should help us out plenty. It's not gonna get us through the round, but it's gonna at least kill a lot of zombies for the round. You know, just to get. Any, you know, help to get less zombies is going to be a good thing, okay? Again, remember, I am trying to hold my dog as I'm playing this, guys. And he keeps pushing my left arm down, and I kind of need, need that to uh, aim. So, my aiming skills will not be the best this video because of that fact. Once again, comment down below, guys. Does your dogs go crazy during storms? What kind of dogs do you uh, own? Um, or what's, you know, your favorite kind of dogs. Anything like that, guys. Comment it down below. I uh, love to read it. I love to read your guys' comments. Obviously, um, I, I try to reply to some, but, you know, I just don't have the time to reply to all comments. Um, so, 
with that in mind, but I don't reply to your comments. Nothing personal, just that I just don't have the time. If I see a question, I try to reply to it because, you know, I'm trying to, I want to answer you guys' questions, but I don't reply to it. Again, nothing personal. What the heck? Oh, okay. Well, he apparently just took me down without any tries. Without any tries there. That was, that was something. Okay. Well, all right. Let's, <laughs> I, I don't, I have no idea how he just took me down with like, you know, that was within seconds. Like, I just ran around the zombie and it was like, oh, yep, GG. <laughs> GG there. Okay. Well, I have a bad feeling that round 10 is not going to happen. And that bad feeling happened. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.